we welcome to the piano Chris Robinson. <laughs> welcome to our show. Great to see you. Pleasure. Now, so uh, where should we begin? I suppose we should begin right Thelonious there. Punk. Thelonious Punk. Yeah. I was only talking to Thelonious Monk. Thelonious Punk's a good one. Or that would be... The loneliest monk. <laughs> and I was talking to Frank Skinner, and he said, what's Thelonious Monk's middle name? Good question. Very good question. It's Sphere. It's like a ball. Is it really? That's an unusual name, whatever way you look unusual at it. Unusual man. Well, here we are. So I'm going to go back to the beginning. I've got to go back to where we started, now where you started. What was the first sort of music that uh, you were listening to that got you excited about music? <clears throat> my parents, both of them, they're like, my taste for like more rock music definitely revolved around Sly and the Family Stone records being my really earliest memory. And I think like that, <clears throat> that vibe Sly and the Family Stone have is something that I remember from so early and so comfortable with it. Um, it's just that we have really loud guitars, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's kind of, I, I, I still see music almost in those, uh, in the way he put together so many elements to make that. That and Mad Dogs and Englishmen, you know, Joe Cocker, and, and those were like the more Bob Dylan records and, you know, pretty good yeah. spectrum. And now you just, you just toured and recorded with Jimmy Page. All right. um, now, what was it like working with him? He was, was he a hero? Definitely, definitely. Um, wow, working with Jimmy. I mean, the, the thing about that whole tour, it just fell into our laps, really. You know, Jimmy called us up and there was a benefit and he said, would you like to come play some songs with me? We can do some blues numbers and some Zeppelin songs. And, you know, when Jimmy calls, you oblige. And uh, Jimmy played, I, I would like to think, he played beautifully because we, like let him have a place where there was nothing else for really him to worry about because joining our dynamic which is something that's been going on for a while so we learned a lot musically a lot about dynamics and drama you know musical drama playing with him that's amazing now recently um with your new wife kate you were, went to the oscars yes an excitement what was that like for those of us sort of never um been such a thing? if you go to, if you get to go to the oscars take something to eat <laughs> Because it's a lot, I don't care how, well, who you're sitting next to, how famous they are, it doesn't help. It's like 18 <laughs> hours long, and uh, there's nothing to eat or drink the whole time. It's miserable. No, it was, uh, it was great. Bob Dylan came on this big screen. He looked like Salvador Dali, and me and Kate and, and Kate's mom, Goldie, were just sitting there going, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. There's Bob Dylan in front of, you know, 800 billion people, and he's the coolest guy I've ever seen in my life. So that was worth the price of admission. Yeah. yeah, nothing better. Now, finally, you're going to be, well, no, tell us about the last number you're going to be doing tonight. That's... We are uh, go, reaching back when Kelly Jones was 11 years old. Yes. <laughs> Twice as hard from uh, our first album, yeah. and I believe we have the pleasure of you sitting in with us. I'm looking forward to that. Well, we're going to have a thrust A little boogie woogie. Kelly. Yeah, no, yeah definitely. Really. Well, we're looking forward to that in a moment, so thank you very much. Beautiful. Chris Robinson of the Black Crow. Nice. <laughs>